Defeat the flagship with any layout of the NG Cruiser to unlock the Federation Cruiser. I guess that's what we're back to. We, uh, we played a bit around with the Rock, which was super fun, but this NG Cruiser win is just... It's hanging over my head. So let's, uh, let's get on in and see what we can do with that. I think NG Layout A is is the one that I want to go with. I have a pretty good understanding of it. This one seems hard. So, oh, maybe it's maybe it's more. I mean, I think the problem is, is that we ha just have these drones. I don't really know what our path forward is going to be. So let's, uh, let's go with this one. We'll, we'll give it a start and see what we can do with the Taurus. Now, things are going to look a little different when we get in here on the jump screen. Now, if you've watched any of this series at all, you know that I, uh, I have complained endlessly about the jump map, and this is a massive quality of life improvement. So we have bands that show us where the Rebel Cruiser will be, or excuse me, where the, uh, yes, the Rebels will advance to each turn of our progression, which is going to give us a lot of capacity. The only thing that is missing is the fully shown web so that I can plan my path. But we'll, uh, we'll get that eventually. This will certainly give us some local planning, and I'll know if I have time to go to that extra node towards the end. I had a sneeze and I lost it, but here we go. Let's see if I remember how to play this game. Encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. Looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance. We will hail them. Ah, they wanted missiles. Sadly, we have none. So that was a bit of a nothing burger. Let's see, how, if I go down into this area, I'm gonna get kind of cornered. I guess we could probably do one down node. Ooh, this is, this is kind of a dangerous first, uh, first fight here for us, I think. Ooh, yep. Oh, man <laughs> this is this is a bad start here okay we got stuff that's on fire so let's vent we need to get out of here as quickly as humanly possible oh don't you beam laser oh I should have I should probably swap my ion blast have swapped my ion blast to the drone room looks like our fire is out so let's close the doors, but we do have to reoxygenate. Jeez, that was a nasty first room. The the unmanned. We should have we should have immediately targeted drones. That's I think the difference. Oh, we do have Nanobot Dispersal. I forgot all about that. I'm going to wait for Val to be fully up and operational. We only have 28. I think we can go here, here, but then we... Eh, I think we have to go to the store now, unfortunately. We do have the Nanobot to sell, so we could get something good, like a defense drone. Or a drone recovery arm. Hey, Rob, welcome! All right, we're going to get anything too juicy here. Ooh, burst laser one. It's burst laser two that's the really good one, though. FTL recharge booster, reverse ion field. Emergency respirators. I don't know if any of this is necessarily game changing. The mind control is interesting. I, I have liked mind control in the past. It seems like a good pickup. But I don't know if we if we get rid of anything here. I think I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save my money. Yeah, Rob, we're uh, we're playing a slightly modded version here. Uh, we will investigate the battlefield. All right, we find some fuel and a little bit of scrap. Not bad. So now we have these ring markers, so that I can do a much better job planning out the end of. The end of our our progression. I 
and we should waste less time because there'll be no eyeballing it. We will aid the Federation ship. They have a defense drone. Defense drone Mark II, oh, defense drone Mark II is going to destroy our ion pulse. Which may be very bad for business. Oh, interesting. So it even it even destroys my uh It even destroys the projectiles from my it destroys the drone itself. Holy smokes. That's fascinating. I did not see that one coming. Like I, I don't think this is gonna this is gonna kill us, but I also don't know if we have the ability to kill it unless we get some lucky hits in. Okay, we're taking a bit of hull damage when when their second weapon gets gets well timed with our shields being down. I don't know if we can if we can get this kill. We may have to jump away. The beginning of this NG run is uh, a little spicy. I don't think there's anything else I could do here. Jeez. All right, yeah, we're out of here. I'm getting a little nervous about the uh, about the beginning of this run. <laughs> uh, we'll attack the pirates. We need we need one of these fights to go our way. All right, they got a missile launcher. Big oof there. Uh, well, we lost dodge as they lost weapon systems. So we're currently pretty well synced up. So <laughs> no, Rob, I think that's part of the fun of it. Famous last words. Okay, well, they're not going to be dodging anymore. They're trying to escape, but their piloting is, is foobard. So, I kind of wonder if this is a, if this is a pacifist kill for us. If I just keep their, uh, well, I should probably keep. Oh, Rob, it's so good. Oh, their oxygen is back online, so I think we just, I think we just get them. If their oxygen had stayed offline, I would have thought maybe we could have gotten the pacifist kill, but we still got a little bit out of that. I want to I want to get a view of this lower left hand corner and then I think we can zip around within it a little bit. Yeah, we have a store. I think so okay. So now we can actually check. <laughs> I know how that goes, Rob. So let's see. So we have 1 2 3 4 5. We have to learn how to read this. So that means we could do one, two, three, four, five. Let's uh, let's try that out. The only problem with that plan is if I'm off by one. Well, 
If I'm off by one, we, we learn the hard way once and for all, right? <laughs> For science, Rob, indeed. Okay, having that burst laser go offline is huge. Okay. This causes the, the fights to take slightly longer, but I think it is... Uh, I think it's good for business. Let's see. With their shields fully down, let's, uh, let's try to power down another system. I hope they don't jump away. I may take a hit because of this, but... Okay. They did not jump away. That is good. Okay, so I said, so now we have one, two, three, four. I'm thinking that if the f if the one is inside of the danger zone, then on fourth, the fourth turn, this one will be. But I might be off by one in my reading of this. Oh, we're going to get lit on fire, eh? Something that is going to bother them a lot less than it bothers us. What with their lack of crew. Hoping we can... Ooh. All their weapons are back online. All right. Okay. Light something non-essential on fire. All right. Ah, uh, should I... Actually, I guess it's always... I think someone told me it's always better to vent. We know we're going to a store next, so I think that's fine. Just takes a long time to... Oh, come on, don't... We're gonna lose a hull pip, I think, because of the... Nope. Just barely, barely made it there. Let's jump. We're jumping to a store so we know there's no combat. And then we can repair the shields. Ah, <sighs> cloaking. Hull repair. What does hull repair do? Automatically repairs 3 to 5 damage to your hull per drone part. Hmm... I don't know about that. Weapon pre-igniters. <laughs> Halberd beam? There are there are things to think about here. But again, none of these look like exactly what I was looking for. So let's see, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. I think it's the same distance, but it, it was a good thought for sure. Uh, let's see, so I don't think any of that. We can't quite make it to cloaking. I've gotten some advice that battery backup is uh, is an interesting one. Provides 30 seconds of power boost to your reactors. Upgrading increased the boost amount. But this takes up a system room. I don't know. It seems expensive. Our... All we have to sell is the NG dispersal. Oh, I thought it was worth 40. It's only worth 30. So there's no way we get to cloaking. And for some reason, I feel like I've heard... I've heard rumor that you only get one shot at cloaking like it shows up in one shop and then never again i mean the fact that you saw anything at all is impressive rob <laughs> uh let's see early halberd the problem is is getting up to six weapons to be able to use the halberd with the ion is really hard but we could swap in the halberd in place of the ion and use it when the combat drone takes the shields down i think early on this this increases our killing power substantially so let's go with that and then we can just decide which one is appropriate 
All right, so moment of truth. Was I was I correct? Wow, look how small the, the charge up for the ion blast is. That's hilarious. Uh, nearby Mantis ship begins aggressive maneuvers. I think... I think we just use the halberd beam and this is going to be pretty devastating when we land it. Although we may take an absolute walloping. I don't know what this gun is, but... Oh, I think it's the burst thingy. Oh, okay, get you up here. Okay, now that that's down, we go... We do... We do... Can I not get both of those? I guess we do these four then. There we go. Yes. Halberd beam good. And luckily we have some drone headroom there. Hey, Mac. How goes it? Okay, so I did miscount. We are... We are one off. All right. Well, we may lose our run to ASB then. Let's see. Put everything in avoidance. There's no value in doing anything. We might as well do that, but we just have to hold off. The The counting is off by one. That's what we learned. Oh, we're going to get wrecked here. Oh. <laughs> Wait, does the FTL stop charge? Okay, the FTL still charges. Yeah, this is this is brutal. Holy smokes. <laughs> okay, well, miscounting can be bad for business. And by bad for business, I mean absolutely lethal. <laughs> um You know what they say about overconfidence? Uh, more like overcounting. So, so what we learned here, we learned an important thing. I will, I will explain in our next run. <laughs> oh, amazing. All right, we're just gonna restart.